I am delighted to welcome composer Kim D. Sherman to Preformance's Season of Hope. Welcome, Kim. Thanks, Allison. It's so great to be here. So nice to be with you. We go back a long way. And since then, we have had so many collaborations over the years, over the decades. Was the first thing we did, well, the first thing was O Pioneers. And I then, after that show, made um, a song cycle out of the music from O Pioneers. And, and actually, some of it was that the journey of that piece is what I'd love to talk about today. Great. Uh, because it has evolved and evolved and evolved and reincarnated <laughs> and turned into a really new piece for the ARC Trio. I am delighted to welcome to Preformance's Season of Hope, two of Preformance's most favorite guest artists from seasons past, cellist Kaisa William Olson and pianist Reiko Uchida. And together with me, we are the ARC Trio. Welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, so we are very far apart from each other right now. Kaisa, tell us where you are. I am in Stockholm, Sweden. And Reiko, where are you? I'm in California, in Los Angeles. And I am in New York. So we are a strange trio formation right now, that's for sure. <laughs> I would much rather be in person. Um, so today we're going to perform some selections from our upcoming recording, Love Resounding. And I thought I would just ask you to, to share some of your insights into the pieces. I'm going to try to ask you questions I actually don't know your answer to. Let's talk about recipe. Um, Reiko, tell me, um, you know, I've actually known this piece for a long time because although Kim set this cycle for us, it's actually a cycle that has existed for quite some time. And mm -hmm. I made a recording of it in a different format um, many years ago. And so I had already had a relationship with the piece. I'm wondering uh, what you thought when you first heard this one, since it's a little playful. This was the, I think it was probably the first piece that we played together. And the first piece that I got to hear you to play with you and and you just had so much fun with this and this is this was my introduction to Allison and, <laughs> uh <-oh. laughs> and I loved it. <laughs> the recipe is this like great list of ingredients that um, rum plum pudding and to me the recipe is the drunk part of the pudding. <laughs> I don't know if you think the same thing. Um, I think the whole thing okay. is like the drunk part of the pudding. <laughs> you have to laugh when you're settling the prairie. It's so hard. I wonder if that isn't really emblematic of our times. I've been struggling myself with the question of whether or not it's important to be making music right now, or if we should just be devoting all of our attention to health and safety and the pursuit of justice and the demand for justice. Um, and then I think again, and I think, you know, maybe giving people a breath, a chance to just escape for a moment into their own thoughts and feelings and heart, um, if that isn't still an important job of the artist and the musician, even in such devastatingly troubling times. And so the idea that even your piece that really is about the struggle of settling the prairie, that there are these moments of levity because for crying out loud, you need it. Even yeah. in the hardest, roughest, toughest winter yeah. with no food and no communication, no rain. Out, no rain, no communication to the outside world. And still you have to find some humanity. Yeah. So let's, Get to this fun piece now. Here is Recipe from Prairie Diary by Kim Sherman, performed by the ARC Trio. Sugar and rose, all spice and nutmeg to taste. 
That was Recipe from Prairie Diary by Kim D. Sherman, performed by the ARC Trio. So Kim, let's, so we've talked about recipe. Let's talk a little bit about, we're doing also the opening and closing songs of this song cycle. And again, a song cycle is a compilation of songs that go together in some way. In this case, in Prairie Diary, it's telling the story of life on the prairie and the heartland settling the land. Um, but I think also each of these songs really works out of context just by themselves. Um, so can you tell us about the beginning and the ending, which um, my, my teacher in college, Professor Louise Vaskirchen, brilliant pianist and musician and educator, um, always used to tell us that we should look at the beginning and the ending of every piece and see how they connect before we can understand the whole piece and really learn how the ending was derived from the beginning. That was one of her big lessons. So I think about that Amazing. circle all the time, that it's not a linear experience going through a piece of music from the beginning note to the double bar at the end, mm -hmm. but it's a circle of how does that double bar relate back to that very first note. Yes. In this case, we're doing piece one and the final piece from the yeah. cycle. So can you just tell us a little bit about those well, two pieces? One of the things about Prairie Dawn is that it's the sunrise. And then the evening prayer is the sunset. <laughs> I've never so, thought about that before. I can't believe this is coming up. I'm learning <laughs> something new about this piece that I've known for decades and decades. <laughs> How fun. Yeah. And I, so the Prairie Dawn, again, the cello has this like coming from the ground. And then that first like, part of the song, I just feel like the gesture is to f come from the earth and then become this like evolving into this beautiful sunrise and what it's like in the morning before anything is happening. So there's this quiet power to it. Yeah. And the, you know, the text describes the sky and the sounds and the smells. For me, there is a very specific world of sound that gets introduced with this piece. I, to me, this sounds so American in the best sense. Yeah. Um, and I had just, I hadn't spent so much time in America and, uh, uh, and I could instantly feel the the smells and the, the sounds of, I've spent quite a bit of time in Santa Fe and somehow I always think of, of Santa Fe when mm -hmm. with the, that very first movement. Kim herself comes, hails from the Midwest. Um, and I feel like to me, that's the sounds of, of, those are the sounds of this piece, very heartland mm -hmm. of America, very Copeland-esque, but in a Kim Sherman way. <laughs> So let's play it for you now. Here is Prairie Dawn from Prairie Diary by Kim D. Sherman, performed by the ARC Trio. Thank <laughs> you. 
And that was Prairie Dawn from Prairie Diary by Kim D. Sherman, performed by the ARC Trio. And um, then the, the final piece. This sort of, um, is sort of like a prayer and a love song all together, all at once. And it, and it also, to me, feels like, you know, you've worked really hard, you've exerted a lot of strength and energy do all these things. So it's the end of a day, but it's also the end of years. Although with those pianissimo high notes, you don't make it um, a relaxing piece to get through. It's it's reflective. (laughs) Yes. But (laughs) from the performer's point of view, it's hardly uh, like let down at the end of the day. (laughs) No, no, it's not like let down. It's like reflection. Yeah. Um, That's a deep and um, difficult point of the reflection that I suppose. (laughs) It is a beautiful, beautiful song. It's one of my all-time favorites. I Um, love that one too. I love singing it and I love the challenges of it. Um, And even Kaisa loves it in this really difficult key for the cello. (laughs) (laughs) I love the evening song. It's beautiful. And it was in a key that let my cello ring beautifully and openly. But Alison wasn't happy with her voice, how that sounded. So she said, let's change the key. And uh, Kim Sherman is a very flexible composer. She said, fine. So now, personally, I think it's a hard key to play. My open strings don't ring and uh, it's just harder to the, for, it's a harder piece for me to play. But Kaisa, I can guess, you can, could you explain for us just a little bit what that means when you say open strings? So the cello is tuned in fifth, uh, meaning the top string is an A string, and then we have a D, a G, and a C. And whenever I play a D, any D on the cello, that makes the the D string ring and also the A string because A is a, a note in the D major chord or D minor chord. So D and A, they ring freely. Uh, and even the G string rings like the cello is open. But with everything, I think half a note lower or whatever you changed it to, um, nothing rings freely. Uh, so I have to create the overtones myself, which is a challenge, but I guess that's also fun. I think you sound beautiful, open or not. Um, And with that, why don't we play Evening Song from Prairie Diary by Kim D. Sherman.
And that was Evening Song from Prairie Diary by Kim D. Sherman, performed by the ARC Trio. For me, it feels like a brand new piece with the ARC Trio. This is what I love about working with you and working with performers is um, what, what I like to call tailor making. You know, it needs a little extension here and a little key change there. and Nip like, and tuck. Really Nip, Nip and tuck, tuck Kim Sherman style. <laughs> <laughs> Some things you just had to re-registrate. Yes. To put in the register the span of notes that worked better for cello than for clarinet. Yes. And in others of the pieces, did you rethink the role of the cello? Yes. Was it the years go by? That's yeah. transformations. Yeah. <laughs> so in that song... The cello kind of has its own journey in that song now. It's completely rethought. That I'm sure that song must feel so different. It's interesting that you talk about the journey of the cello because I think that Michael Ching thought mm. greatly about the cello's journey in, set, in some of his reinterpretations of Schubert songs where there was no third voice to begin with. There was no nothing other than voice and piano. And then when he added in cello, it wasn't just to fill out the harmonies. It was really to create a whole other journey. I think that's, that might even be the same word he would use. Yeah, interesting. So it's, it's interesting. Maybe this whole segment is about the journey, the journey of the cello. cello. So let's hear this journey of the cello in Transformation Song from Prairie Diary by Kim Sherman, performed by the ARC Trio. That was Transformation Song from Prairie Diary by Kim Sherman, performed by the ARC Trio. In this series, I'm asking my guest artists to explore the theme of hope in these times that feel so bleak. Okay, so let me ask you first, can you, can you give us any sense of hope from your end of the world? Well, in Sweden, uh, we haven't shut down quite so harsh as in many other places in the world. So actually my orchestra, the Royal Stockholm Philharmonic Orchestra is still performing with no live audience, but we're playing music and we're with a small orchestra sitting really far apart. 
and it's a challenge, but really fun. And everyone is so excited to play music. And I think the creativity among musicians all around the world, and artists for that matter, just shows how important culture is for all of us. You know, that reminds me of my favorite quotation of all time by Henry David Thoreau from Walden. If we respected only what is inevitable and has a right to be, music and poetry would resound along the streets. Yeah. So even now, we have to find a way to keep the music and poetry coming, even if we're not out on the streets. And Reiko, right. how about you? Is there anything you're holding on to these days that can give us some hope? I've never taken it for granted, chamber music, but I'm really hopeful for the day that I could be with you all and to play <laughs> together There's and to feel the energy with the audience to connect with them. And yeah. So. Yeah. You know, that's one of the questions that sort of has propelled this series performance, a season of hope is if you're a professional classical musician and you're making music, but there's nobody there to hear it. Are you still a musician? Have you still made music? And my answer to that is that we really do need our audience. We need people to hear it. And so I'm hopeful that with this new format, we can still reach the audience. And even though we can't hear from them in the moment, uh, we still hope that we're having a connection with you, the audience, and um, that together we're having this experience. Kim, I can't tell you how great it has been to talk to you today. And I'm so grateful to you for being with me in these times and also giving me the opportunity to sing your beautiful music and for reimagining it for the ARC Trio. Um, and Thank here's you. To, uh, to seeing you in person. Yes, indeed. And I, you know, over the years, we've had such an incredible collaboration that keeps evolving. And it keeps reminding me that change is good. Here's to change. Here's to hope. And certainly one of my great hopes is that I get to see you ladies again in person very soon and make music with you soon. So here's to the ARC Trio being together in person. Thank you both so much for being here. Thank you, Allison. Thank you, Allison. Bye. Thank you, Rako. Bye.